in Shanghai we, we won the competition to represent Britain at the world's largest ever expo that was going to happen there. We had this sort of brief where we had half the budget of the other Western nations and the British 250 pavilions were going to be there. I mean, more than you can see even if you spend four months there. And, um, but we were told, you've got to be in the top five. That was the British government brief. And it said all the things about showing that Britain is biodiverse, good place to go on holiday to, good economy, good, you know, various things that you know every country is going to say. But there was this quirk at the end of the brief which said, be in the top five. And we just sort of thought, well, you can work with that. That's the most useful bit of the brief. So we just focused on trying to not be a cheesy advert for Britain. In, in that hectic mentalness that an expo is, you know, the barrage, of, if everything's showing off at you, it, it felt, if you how can you sum up a whole country and try and say everything? And came back to try to, tr just try to say one thing. And if you can just do one thing well, with our little half of the budget of others, that might stand out. And it felt it almost needed to be calm and a, some kind of break. So we decided to try to only use a sixth of the site and make a public space. And within that public space, all the big building requirements, we could put them gently there. So we had all the government meeting spaces and broom cupboards and staff training rooms and toilets. And uh, it meant that you, because those don't need to fit on the cover of the Caracas Times. Um, and by making only a sixth of the site, we also had this thing, no one was allowed to build taller than 20 metres. It meant that instead of a building that's that, you suddenly get the perception of proportion which is slimmer. So this, this seed cathedral was the outcome of thinking. The expo is about the future of cities. and. For its size, London is the greenest city in the world, which was really interesting as the research was coming up about that. And with the, the public parks, gardens, squares, um, and the world's first major botanical institution of Kew. And so we went to see them and they agreed to give us a quarter of a million seeds. And everyone already knows that trees are beautiful and lovely. And everyone goes to Kew and they enjoy looking at all the things. But the, the seed bank that Kew has set up isn't at Kew. It's near, it's, it's near Gatwick Airport. And this, so there's this incredible project that no one's seen um, because it's like, oh, well, that's work, collecting seeds. And some seeds are very beautiful. Um, so we had this moment and we went to see the, uh, the head of the seed bank and they agreed to, to give us this. The whole project depended on that. You can call it an exhibit or you can call it a building or whatever. It's made from these 66,000 optics. In a way you could say they're a vitrine or a window. This is one of them from the, from the expo. And uh, this was the cross section of the building. So it's just a, a box punctured with 66,000 holes and then waterproofed and the building moved in the wind. And it's the only project we've done that looks more like a render than the render.